Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if your Touch ID is not working. Now, Touch ID is available on your iPhone SE lineup or iPhone 8 and lower. So, Touch ID allows you to be able to use your fingerprint to do certain things as like unlocking your phone, being able to pay for Apple Pay and such, but sometimes it may not be working and you want to be able to fix it. So let's get started. So how do you fix it? The very first thing I like to do when it comes to your Touch ID is ensuring that your Touch ID or fingerprint reader is clean. So take a microfiber cloth and nicely clean it. Make sure it's all dried up. There's no dust or plaque build up there. Also, your finger has to be you pretty much dry when it comes to that. If your finger has a uh, liquid or oil or even water, it will not work. So make sure finger is dry and the touchpad is clean itself. Now, the other thing also you want to try is that if you have a case on, sometimes case or magnetic or they influence the way your touch ID works, remove the case temporarily and see if that fixes the issue for you. Along with that is if you have any sort of uh, screen protector or temper glass on sometimes those temper glass actually gets very close to the fingerprint or touch ID so I recommend is seeing if you put a new one and it's not working probably the a screen protector or temper glass could be the issue or sometimes when you put your finger and those are getting in the way it might not be reading your fingertip as well so go ahead and try to remove the screen protector that you have and see if that helps as well now the next thing you want to do after that those troubleshooting is doing a forced restart on your iphone so if you have an iphone 8 iphone se second generation or third generation a forced restart is going to be press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then you're going to hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black and then the apple logo reappears will let go of that button so it's volume up volume down and then i hold this button here on the side here until the screen will go completely black and what we're recessively doing is that shutting down the phone completely and having it reload the code so if there is any issue with the phone software it will resolve that for you and this method that we're doing will not delete any of your personal data so you shouldn't have to worry about in your personal data getting deleted so to show you again one more time we're going to do volume up volume down and then i hold the side button you're not going to slide to power off so just keep on holding it. when you do that make sure that you do volume up and down quick if you don't do it quick enough it won't work so as you can see here the screen went completely black that's fine i'm holding this button so I see the Apple logo and then I let go of it. Now, if you do have an iPhone 7 or a 7 Plus, it's going to be slightly different. You're going to hold the side or the power button and the volume down button at the same time about for 10 seconds and let go when you see the Apple logo. And then if you have an iPhone 6S or older, you're going to hold the power button and the home button at the same time for about 10 seconds or so or until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear and then you let go of that button. And once you're back into your phone, hopefully the Touch ID now works for you and it's resolved for you. Now, if you're still having the issue with it, it's time to check your uh, phone's setting. If you go into your settings of your iPhone, you want to check out uh, there's the option to check here, as you'll notice here for touch ID and pass code you want to go in there and see if there's a fingerprint already there if not I would go ahead and add another fingerprint and you can add the same finger again it's then the reason why you want to do that is sometimes your fing finger structure might have changed or the way you're holding it and the phone might be impacting the way so I recommend is going ahead and adding another f new fingerprint onto it so that the touch ID can work so I'm going to adjust it as you can see here add it here and if you have existing fingerprint I recommend removing those because those could also interfere with the new one so go ahead and delete that just like that and hopefully by now your touch ID is working the next setting you want to uh, do if you're still not working in your settings here go to general and then go all the way down here it says transfer reset iPhone click on reset you want to do a network reset some users have reported that some for some reason their fingerprint wasn't working after they have done a network reset it worked some kind of bug or glitch and this what network reset does is deletes any saved Wi-Fi password anything connected to like external device if you ever connected with Bluetooth any sort of VPN setting as well generally it takes about uh, 10 15 seconds to do and this will not delete any of your personal data so your photos videos apps will still be there you don't have to worry about it but it's a necessity when it comes to troubleshooting touch ID not working now after that what you want to do is if you're still having issues is going ahead and doing a software update on your iPhone in order to do that you're gonna go into your settings and then you're gonna to go to 
general software update and see if there's a software update available if it is it'll show up just like that and we're going to click on download and install the update make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged connected to either good strong wi-fi or cellular data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes in order to download and install the update and after that hopefully any issue that you're having with your touch id it is resolved so that's it for the video i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time